following segment is sponsored by Car and Car. It can happen to anyone and just about anywhere. A stumble results in a slip and fall. So if it happens to you or someone on someone else's property, what's your next step? The experts at Car and Car have the answer to that question. They join us this morning via Skype. Michael Carr, attorney, we're glad to have you with us, Mr. Carr. So good that you're here. So I have a question for you. I'm doing business, everything's fine. I slip and fall and I'm on their property. Are they liable? Well, it, it, it really depends. Uh, certainly they're not automatically liable just because you fall on their property. It comes down to what caused your fall and did the business owner know about it and choose not to do anything about it. We see this a lot when someone slips and falls, say in a grocery store on some water that was spilled. Um, the grocery store in that case would not be really responsible for that unless either they created the problem, maybe they maybe an employee dropped something, uh, some water and didn't pick it up. Or, you know, if it, maybe another customer dropped some water, an employee saw it, chose not to really do anything about it, not to pick it up, just to let it sit there. If someone then slips and falls on that, then that could bring in the store for a bearing some responsibility. So it seems like there's a lot to it. So my question for you next would be, if I get hurt on someone else's property I'm doing business with, what should I do? Well, the first thing you should do is try to take some pictures if you can. We've gotten so many calls from people who've been injured on another person's property because of some alleged defect, but there are no pictures to, to really prove it. So it's just some, some person's, uh, their own word. So if you have like a camera on you, you know, try to snap a picture if you can. And then in addition to that, um, tell the tell the tell the store owner about it. Try to fill out some sort of incident report so there's some record of what happened. Attorney Michael Carr with me this morning. And so another question for you. I know it's early this season, but as a weather guy, I have to think like this. When it gets snowy and icy, what happens if I fall in a parking lot? Are they liable for that? Well, this is really, I think, pretty interesting. So if you go to a store and you're, say you're walking in the parking lot, it's snowy and snow packed and there's been no effort to remove the snow and you slip and fall, the parking lot owner would not be responsible. So generally speaking, a, a parking lot owner, business owner is not responsible for some sort of naturally occurring substance on the property like snow or ice. However, if the parking lot owner tries to remove some of the snow or ice, but just doesn't really do that good of a job, and you then slip and fall, then that could bring in some liability for the parking lot owners. Kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Sounds like <laughs> you. Wow, there's a lot to that. It's a good thing I know an attorney, right? And <laughs> <laughs> my final question for you is: If a business owner is determined to be responsible for the fall, what kind of damages would someone be entitled to? Asking for a friend, you know. Sure. Well, if it is actually determined that the business owner is responsible for some reason, and then the injured person could be uh, able to seek compensation for their medical bills or trips to the hospital. Um, uh, if they had to miss work because they had to seek medical treatment, they could get compensation for that. And money is just for, for the pain and suffering they've had to go through to, because of, they've had to endure those injuries. Generally speaking, that's what they could be responsible for. Okay, so clearly you can answer a lot more if I have any more questions. can get in touch with you. Thank you for spending time with us this morning, Attorney Michael Carr. Carr and Carr, Attorneys at Law. They're available at 918-747-1000. They're at Carr car.com. That's C-A-R-R-C-A-R-R.com.